The state of New Jersey decided to build me a world-class point break. All the way up, we just ran front. The fact that they let this guy drive legally. Look at that park job. I claim it's, I think it's gonna be pretty fun. I think it's gonna be a nice dreamy summer sesh. Eight foot. I'd be out on the eight foot probably, but Ben might be ripping out on the retro fish. We'll see how we'll see how the conditions transpire. I like your style. <laughs> Dude, that's that's funny you said that because I was thinking in my head, this is a classic summer day. Yeah. Classic. <laughs> Absolutely classic. Dude, the moment of truth. Have you seen a wave yet? <laughs> oh, this peak. I saw that. Should we just park next to Big Bob? I don't know if it's going off, but it's going. <laughs> it's going somewhere. I think there's It might be going on. I think there's I think there's a wedger. Firing still might be eight foot though. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't had too many days this summer, so maybe we're like overly stoked for what this is. But a wave's a wave, and it is cranking offshore. Super fun conditions. The mayor's up on another one. Dude, this is an absolute bomb, and it's Big Dog Bob McClay. The mayor. Look at this guy styling through the years. What a guy. All class. Dude! That guy boogied that, dude. <laughs> That's pretty gnarly. <laughs> so we're going on we're going out and uh, I'm gonna just ride the eight foot because that's how you get in the spot. Eights are late, they said. with the floater.
session went off. The claim is simply this. Eights are late. However, we're gonna go look at the state of New Jersey decided to build me a world-class point break. So they just started about a week ago, so we're gonna go see their progress. I was like, yo, Jersey, like, what's the deal? Our ways are so short. And they're like, oh, dude, no worries, we got you, man. They said by the end it should just be peeling for miles. That's nice of them, right? It took a lot. It was, this is a long time coming, but finally they, they're getting it started. And it was nice of them to pull together $10 million in taxpayer dollars for a temporary point break. <laughs> just for us to catch a couple. It was temporary. <laughs> it's going to last like two months. <laughs> All right, let's go check it out. Three hours later. Are you kidding me, Mackie? Are you kidding me? At this point in time, we can safely say the dredge has be, at least begun to create a point break for us out here. The question is, what? how will the tide affect this? And how close will I be able to get to the actual good wave before I get yeah, kicked yeah. out? Yeah. But there's a couple nuts looking ones. Look at this, this wave. Yeah, oh, that was, that was crazy. I can't go over there though. Like, I'm gonna have to hang like wide left or this wide bowl here and wait for those sets and just when the set comes, just paddle in. Like, yeah. you know. The dredge is absolutely roping left, just going off. Are you kidding me? Dude, what? Let's see this one. Ah, oh, trimmer. <laughs> this was crazy. I don't wanna, don't wanna get this conversation in video. Oh, tubular. Oh, this is a bomb. It's not really uh, throwing like I thought it would. But now there's a bunch of us. Guys, we don't know what's going on, but there is a cop behind us. And you know, he might he might yell at us. And if he yells at us, I'm gonna run away. Oh, gotta got Do you think he's guy. actually do you think he's actually gonna go yell at them? Oh, that's a good one. Oh yeah, there it is. to the butt. Oh, no way! <laughs> the dredge is pretty cool, right? Yeah. Would you hit me? 
I know, you can't get ticket over get so close too. Tell me about your board that you rode today. The eight foot Ben Gravy Wave Bandit. How would how do you like it? It's the Cadillac of soft tops. Yeah. It's actually the Land Rover of soft tops. Jamie rides the Cadillac of soft tops. This wave looks like Namibia from here. And then you go out there and it's Namibia. So about knee high. Yeah. But this board turns it back into Namibia. And I got barrels, I got cross steps, I got turns, pocket rides, grab rails, two kahana moku stance, long ones, short ones, wide ones, thin ones, skinny ones, tall ones. So it's a board for all sizes, all ages, all, all shapes levels. and sizes. Yeah. And then look at this wave Mackie's missing of our boy, dude. No, but number three of that set is gonna be mental. But it looks like the state of New Jersey came through. Some of the specs are off. I gotta talk to the governor because first of all, I said I wanna write. Second of all, we gotta talk about the size. Like, if this is their temporary test pool, that's fine. But if this is the final size, as big as it's gonna get, we're gonna need another 10 million. Other than that, absolutely scored. I'm excited to see this thing when the waves are a little bigger. We all know I'm not the man I used to be. Especially since my collarbone injury, my body just hasn't been the same. So I decided to do something about it and get back in shape. I've been working out. And it's been great. I've been getting it in heavy, but you can't do this to yourself every day. I've been looking for something for the days that I'm not doing that, that's not surfing, but that will still strengthen my legs for surfing. So I was looking for the perfect thing to do on my other days to keep the juices flowing. Then it dawned on me, the Nordic Track. Since leg strength and cardio has been my main focus, the Nordic Track is literally the perfect choice for me. And I've been able to use it a ton when Blen isn't using it. Blen, what are you using my Nordic Track for? Dude, well, I'm just cruising, bro. Dude, you can't just cruise on the Nordic track. Dude, I just I just rode by J-O-B Surf Experience. What's wrong with you? I don't, why are you so aggro all the time, dude? But later I found out that you actually can just cruise if you need a recovery day. As a matter of fact, they have workouts for everyone. My biggest claim are the global workouts. A few times I was sitting at home feeling those afternoon doldrums when I decided to crack a ride on the Nord. Instead of staring at the wall of an office, I was able to be transported around the world to enjoy the view. Using the iFit program, I was able to cruise the Icelandic countryside, vibe out in Hawaii, and even go to the moon. My favorite workout was a North Shore bike ride with John Peel. Not only was the scenery great, but while I was riding, I just thought about the next time I'd be in Hawaii dropping into a clean line. first got this bike, I challenged myself to do a week straight, and it actually took my breath away. Holy! So I wasn't feeling it today. That was by far the hardest workout I've done all week. And as you can tell, I'm dripping sweat from head to toe. Why? After the entire week, I became a Nordic track expert. This thing is not frying me to the point where I can't surf after I do it. My favorite thing about this bike is the convenience of working out at my home. Already feeling the benefits a little bit. I'm saving time, there's no commute, no working out outside in the cold, and no need to leave the family. Right, Dennis? I'm loving the bike. Completely positive review so far. This bike is a perfect introduction if you're looking to get fit. It's the perfect filler workout for days in between the gym. I surf constantly and I do strength training, but this has been an added benefit for my legs. So that's pretty much it. The Nordic Track has been the perfect addition to my active lifestyle. Click the link below to get your own Nordic Track today.
Stoke levels are high. We're on our way to Ohio. Psyching out of my mind right now. Have a good one. Psyching out of my mind right now. Let a flight attendant know if you didn't. Well, I'll be. This is a lie. This is not real. There's no, that is not. First off, there's no way they found every single bone. Wow, look at that. I don't know if we're, oh wait, hold on. I might be tripping. Now Red Bull will put us in the fanciest hotel in Cincinnati. It's not too shabby. What do they call this? A nice room. What the fuck is going on around here? Bub, I've been to many a fancy rooms. Now, I am not impressed. <laughs> what? <laughs> she's not impressed. I have been in many now fancy rooms. Now she's room. not impressed. Now we got a water and now we got a couch. Okay, now we got a couch and we got a bedroom. And we got a, we got a view of the... The got, city skyline. The goddamn Germinator. All right, so we made it to Cincinnati, Ohio. We are here for the Red Bull Flug Tog, and I will say, we are getting treated. All right, we made it to Cincinnati. What's the claim, Cincinnati? What's, What's the, the claim? claim? <laughs> That's not funny. would be pretty more. really 1940 83 years wow we got five floors like this that's amazing all right so here we are walking the streets of Cincinnati I've never even considered learning anything about Cincinnati there's so many cities in the United States that are just more popular than Cincinnati there's probably even there's cities in Ohio that are more popular than Cincinnati. But first look, it appears to be very historic. Seems like there's a small population, judging by this sign that we're about to stroll by right here. Cost of living is pretty affordable. I have not seen a $2 parking sign in Philadelphia ever <laughs> my entire life. You know my relatives delivered timber to Cincinnati. William Penn. Well, that has nothing to do with Cincinnati. Now, we went the other way. People were coming west, we were going east. Jordan has decided to walk us into statistically the most dangerous area in Cincinnati. Well, now we're walking back, so this is just dumb. I can just tell by the vibes. Cincinnati, what's the claim? The claim was we walked and walked and walked and didn't see much. But our lunch was good, so I'm stoked. What I saw was a lot of potential. I've never known anything about Cincinnati, but today I learned that city's old school, but they have a they have a professional NFL team. That matters. And baseball. And baseball. A lot of claims there, lots of unpackage there, but you know, to learn about a city I knew nothing about a little bit, get a taste, it was a fun time, so that's the claim. Thanks, Jesse. So, supposedly Ben has to learn all of this information, the heavy stack of trivia cards, by tomorrow. Opening ceremonies begin at 1 p.m. You don't want to miss it. Oh, no. A legendary Jersey surfer, Ben Gravy, say hello to the crowd. <laughs> all right, what's up, Cincinnati? This is my very first Red Bull Food Talk event. It's the morning of the finals. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. I'm gonna practice my lines right now. Good morning, Cincinnati. That's all I'm giving away right now. They're gonna have to watch the 
ESPN broadcast to see the rest. All right, we're getting rained out right now. Always something. Does anybody... Oh, he's stretching. He's ready. He's stretching. Oh, he's ready. Does anybody have a dog that sleeps in? Um, I think we do. The wind is turning offshore right now. He's out. Ow! <laughs> so far, tough words to get out. Biggest swell of the summer so far. And it's not very big. It's not that big, but we just saw a full-blown square, dream square, and it's August. We pretty much haven't gotten waves all year. I mean, did we get waves this year? We pretty much haven't gotten waves in like a while. So, me looking at a two and a half foot drainer, I'm freaking out. My claim is I'm uh, It's like right in the middle. It's kind of it's like, like, it looks super point breaky ish and there's a couple of like wedgers that are like a little more wide than they are like, oh, look at this guy. But uh, there's some sick ones. How's your haircut? Yeah, my haircut looks pretty good. Let's see. Big Ooh, wedding later. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah. Let's flip it in and out. It's way better now. I like it.
That's what I'm talking about. The trash. 